What's going on guys? This is Jacob Amaral. In today's video, we're gonna be testing ICT and fair value gap signals on automated trading systems. I've always been curious. I know this is a very hot topic within the online trading community, if you will. And I wanna see if these fair value gap and ICT signals are legitimate. Can we actually find good robust trading systems with these types of signals? So let's get started. Uh, let's talk about what ICT is. I don't know too much about it. I hear a lot about it on the web. And uh, I guess it's this uh, influencer here and there's you know a slew of signals or indicators that they talk about and they, uh, how should I say it? A systematic approach to entering trades. And it's a signal, right? It's a signal to, to enter uh, and, and, and make a bet on some type of market. So what I've done is I have asked ChatGBT to give me some ICT, IC, ICT style fair value gap signals, all right? And it's coded up a couple signals for me here. Now in our latest update in StratGen, you can now custom code and import your own custom signals and test them in StratGen. So we'll be back testing them in and out of sample testing uh, as well. And then uh, we've uh, attached some profit targets and stop losses on these strategies to see how they hold up. So it's coded a couple for me, six here. And off the top of my head, just looking at them, obviously they're, they're price action based, based on you know previous lows and highs. So our first signal here, which is called ICT FVG up. FVG I think stands for fair value gap. It's checking if the low is greater than the previous high or the current low is greater than the previous high, it's gonna return one as in true, if not false. Now, this doesn't happen very often. I mean, the current low being above the previous high would have to be a, a major gap, right? I guess that's the whole theory behind fair value gap. And then we have it on the downside where the high is, is the current high is less than the previous low. And then we have a couple more here with percentages, okay? So I coded those into StratGen. So once again, StratGen is a software tool I use to test, robustly test my trading signals. And uh, so I coded them in already. Uh, you can see here the last one that I pasted, IVG hold down, you just paste it in here and then you compile and register it. And you can see I have a bunch of other signals that I'm testing. So StratGen comes with about a thousand unique signals, uh, but you can code as many and import as many as you want. So you can get really creative with it if you'd like. So I've already coded them and tested them on a couple markets. So I tested about 10 markets uh, from oil to S&P to NASDAQ. I actually tested NASDAQ twice. I did NASDAQ daily bars and then 600 minute bars and then some more exotic ones like palladium, uh, silver, etc. So on the long side, I already got the results here. Uh, this is from about 2020 to 2022. Uh, so I leave a couple years out of sample, so there should be no trades past 2022. Here are the results. So most of the time there wasn't many trades. I mean, the most trades that we saw from a market was only 12. So this, these signals don't happen often. They're very rare. And if we actually soar on any signals, I would personally trade. So we have a couple, you know, potential candidates here. Uh, we could see this one, this top one. Uh, 80,000 net profit, 21,000 max drawdown, return to drawdown 3.68. So that could be a potential candidate. I like to see above two on my return to drawdown. So we see uh, roughly what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candidates that could pass on the long side. Notice how it was the NQ 600 minute market that we tested. A lot of the daily bars that we tested did not make a lot of trades, which makes sense. I mean, these types of signals where a low is greater than a previous high rarely happens on a daily time frame. You'd have to have a massive gap up for that to happen. And that may only happen once, not even once a year, maybe once every five or once a decade on these types of markets. But when you look at say 600 minute bars, your potential chance of that happening uh, is much higher because you just have more, more data, more data points. So, yeah, we had some passing on NQ on 600 minute bars, uh, about nine or 10. Uh, the next I would look at, so this top one here, 164, we'll do the short side too. Uh, this is long, uh, a long signal right now. 
So if I go to out of sample and I go to 164, do, do, do. 164, right here, I check the Monte Carlo, uh, disregard the sharp ratio, it's definitely bugged right now. Median return to drawdown 3.29, so that would pass. I want to see that above two, sorry, my head's blocking it. Median return to drawdown 3.29, I like to see that. So that would definitely pass. Uh, if we took a look at the equity curve here, uh, we do, so this is where it stops. This is where then I do my out of sample walk forward testing. That's why the, the equity curve goes horizontal, uh, stops trading. So the blue is the underlying and the yellow, the yellow uh, equity curve is the actual strategy. So uh, it does have some alpha here. We can see at the bottom right here, an alpha of 0 0.032. So it basically beats buy and hold. We can see by the end here, uh, it is much higher than NASDAQ's value. So it definitely beats buy and hold, which is good to see. And an above 2.0 return or drawdown. So that's a good start. Uh, let me try the short side and then let's take a look at that, see if we find any with that. So I will uh, speed this up. So we did the short side as well. We got a really good candidate on Palladium, although it only made four trades. We did see an NQ 600 minute short here. Only four trades, but you know, the long side did 12 trades as well. Mm. Some on S&P. But yeah, I, definitely this NQ 600 one I'm interested in. I'm going to generate the code for that. NQ600, we'll just call it uh, ICT FVG. And then I'll put it the S at the end for short. Uh, generate NinjaTrader code. That way I can test it further. So I'm on SP, but there was no long side on SP. But yeah, NQ600 looks good. I gotta generate the long side too. Let's go back to long and just do NQ600. Okay. It's definitely, definitely a strategy I'd be looking at trading. Uh, there's some more testing I would do like walk forward analysis on more out of sample data, but definitely the NQ600 strategy does look like a candidate uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to get access to the strategy. Um, I'm feeling a little bit nice. And once I finish my testing, I'll, uh, I'll release it to you. Uh, I just want to see a couple comments, maybe three or four comments about the strategy. So in the comments below, maybe comment down ICT and uh, I'll release the strategy once I'm done my further testing. So yeah, all in all in conclusion, does I ICT strategies work? Well, we still have to do more testing with these strategies. We'll see how they do in simulation as well. But so far, some, some decent, decent candidates, excuse me. And um, yeah, we'll do some further testing and find out. So anyways, hope you found value in this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see the strategy, comment ICT below. Uh, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.